Do you know Winston? Yes, ma'am. Are you related to him? No, ma'am. I used to babysit him for oh. his mom. And tell me uh, what you'll always remember about him. I always remember his smile, his little sense of humor. He's the sweetest, just the sweetest boy ever. Mm. It's a shame. What's getting you through this hard time right now? I guess God, as any other time. Mm. Cause it's hard, mm. it's ridiculous. I wanted to get a baby shark and the cocoa melon cause he was a baby when I watched him. But I was like, I guess he was like Batman and Spider-Man now. <laughs> Winston was a very outgoing young man. He, um, his mother and grandmother and grandfather, the family was a very close-knit family. So different things that went on in the church, especially with the children, they already always had Winston here. Um, he's truly going to be missed. I mean, we all are brokenhearted about this terrible tragedy. And uh, I remember when we'd have um, vacation Bible school and his mother was one of the teachers of the young people and she'd be up doing her presentation or whatever and Winston would come right up there and be with his mama, you know. <laughs> so he was really outgoing uh, and he's truly, truly going to be missed. Truly, truly. Yeah, and I, I just, I don't know, I'm just at a loss for words how my heart is just broken over over this terrible tragedy. Yeah. So many memories of Winston. I wouldn't even know where to start, but some that stand out I would probably comment on is his infectious smile. Um, his smile lit up any dark room. He, he had this thing and um, he would always want to pray. He'd want to pray when we would have children's worship and we would have to say, you know, Winston, you got to let somebody else pray. And he didn't understand because he wanted to pray all the time. So when we would tell him no, he would do his little arms up like that and he would get so discouraged. And then when we would finally say, okay, Winston, you can pray, you can pray. He'd come over to me and he'd say, you gonna help me pray, right? You gonna help me pray, right? So he would, you know, cuddle up to me and pray. So he just, he was just such an infectious, life-loving, um, he loved his church family. He loved his friends and church and children's ministry.